Shalom, shalom. Let me see. Making sure everything working. Uh, real quick. It's hot where I'm at right now. I'm sweating. Uh, give me a second. Y'all can hear me? Testing, testing. Everything good? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know y'all can hear me. One second. All right, give me a second. We're just going to get into a few things, man. Just chop it up. Have a little fun. Real quick. Uh, a few announcements, though, too. I want to give a shout out to uh, Aqua. He just dropped another album. I've been riding to that joint. Let me just piece this together real quick. Y'all can hear me though, right? Excuse all the sweat, man. I'm, it's just hot where I'm at right now. Give me a second while we waiting. Give me a second. Got a few things I want to show y'all too, man. I came across this this book. I gotta wipe my face off. Got this book I want to talk about too. You know, I think everybody should get this, especially in these times. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Hold on. Hold up one second, one second. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right, hold on. I need another second. Huh. All right, I'm back. All right, so I was trying to set this up a little bit smoother. Play some little tunes in the background real quick. It's supposed to be the intro. No, not that. All right. Anyways, man, I want to get right to it. The show is called Wine and Dine with your boy, John. Or we can call it Wine and John. Either way. So, man, we're just going to chop it up, man. Uh, you know, on Facebook, if you all follow, if you all on my Facebook, y'all know I talk a lot, of, a lot of stuff. People get irate, which don't phase me none, but just want to, because we got this challenge now, man, we're trying to do just, you know, kind of support the brother, the brothers in our situation type challenge you know thanksgiving coming tomorrow 
and I just put it out there that you know around 5:30, we're gonna see who 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 got a plate full of that Thanksgiving food. So you know, if you if you want to go live, you know what I'm saying you can tune in. You can uh just go live on Facebook and just you know basically salute that you know you ain't you ain't rocking with this Thanksgiving. Cause a lot of Hebrews act like they ain't they ain't for the Thanksgiving and they gonna go get them a plate. And you know we ain't nobody. Don't matter if you do or don't. But I thought it would be funny to see how many people won't do it because of that reason, because they about to go get them something to eat. All right. Just want to get into a little Facebook news. So this is the whole premise of the show. We're just talking about uh, everything I post on Facebook and just trying to bring it more to life. Just have a little fun, man. I'm sick of not... You know, see everybody not truly being they self. So we're gonna be ourselves, man. And and uh y'all let me know what y'all think. So the first thing I got up, like I said, we got the challenge. It's the no Thanksgiving uh Hebrew challenge. And I was saying I bet nobody will go live around 5 30 tomorrow. So we're gonna go live. Everybody just go live, clown man, and you know, just have fun and praise the most high. So and Like I say, it's just a just a hangout, man. I ain't doing nothing, nothing special. I'll be bored, so I want to talk. So hopefully y'all listening. But uh, yeah, shout out to Aquan real quick. Let me get y'all that info on that album. It's called Washed in the Word. Washed in the Word. Washed the letter N. D A Word. And the album's dope, man. Like I said, he dropped the album a few years ago, Fresh Out the Water, and I think it was one of the dopest albums I ever heard. So, yeah, y'all check out Aquan. He just put that joint out. That's what I've been rocking lately. Uh, other than that, I got this book, too, man, I wanted y'all to check out. It's called Edible Wild Plants. And it just shows, like, all the stuff that grow that you can eat. You know, they, they make it a big deal where... You know, um, you know, you got to keep your grass cut. Like we got to keep our grass cut, or they give us a fine. A lot of the stuff that's grown in your yard can be can be ate. It's edible. So you know, this is just a good survival tactic tactics. And I know, like you know, once the internet shut down, if something like that was to happen, let's just assume that the internet will go down and whatever, whatever. You still got a book, and this book doesn't need no Wi-Fi. So. You could just open it and you can look at the plant and say, you know, oh, it is edible. and it tells you what's edible and what's not edible. And I remember the first page, I think it was 89 or 79. I just opened it one day on the first first page, first go around. I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me see. And this stuff go right in our yard. It grows right in our yard. And we're going to eat this stuff, man. So it was real interesting, man, to see stuff like that. You know, we're going to get into some other news. And uh, and as we're going along, we're going to drink some wine. But I got an album coming out soon, hopefully sooner than later. Been working hard on it, trying to uh, just prepare for everything, man. You know, just trying to keep up, keep up with the mission I prayed the most high that you know I, I was willing to accept and uh and yeah man just trying to stay on top of my game and not get too far deterred because there's a lot of people that want you to stop doing what you're doing for no reason like there's nothing came from you doing what you're doing or or lose and nothing a person can lose from you doing what you're doing it's just secret hate secret hate and you know it is what it is i me honestly like i said before man i said on the facebook live man i appreciate secret i appreciate hate when it's in my face i don't like the secret hate because now you're playing games i don't know if you hate me and i'd rather you just tell me that you dislike me and i won't hate you for it i'll respect you for it because now i know i'll be a fool to be kicking it with you and i uh it's a post i put up on facebook 
And I think it got a lot of people upset. And that day, that whole day was surrounded around, you know, what can I think of to get people to gather and talk about they can't. So I put up a post that said, ISUPK ain't nothing to all the ISUPK cats came on there and they said, ISUPK ain't nothing to mess with. Oh, that was love. You had a few people come through, of course, disrespect them, but they wasn't, they weren't stressing that. They didn't get all up in arms. They wasn't bothered by that. I put up another post saying, AO, uh, AOC bring that. A couple brothers said fight. That's love. Everybody representing their stuff. But you know, it's not a lot of AOC cats. And uh, I put up GOC, ha GOCC has the, and everybody just went bananas. I mean, bananas. But all in all, if you feel like it was an attack, there's nothing I can do about it. But I appreciate you because a lot of people did show their true colors. I appreciate you putting yourself out there. So now I see you. So now when I see you, when I see you, like my brother Ephraim say, no fake shallow arms. We're not dealing with that. Just to make that clear, man, just get that out the way. We're moving forward with more positivity. That's my whole mission. Uh, to be more positive toward the people, man, and give them something that um that they can enjoy. I know the most high has blessed me to to have a position with the brothers and sisters that's strong enough that they will listen. So I gotta be careful on the things that I talk about and don't talk about. And uh just so everybody know my intentions is always gathering the people. I don't too much care about nothing else. And if you can't gather you, then it ain't meant for you to gather. And that's another thing. People, y'all shouldn't be mad if nobody want to gather with you. It's who it's I don't get it. Like, well, maybe it's just me because I can be alone forever. It's, it's just me, maybe. But people, they put themselves through stuff and it's really their fault because you have to be comfortable being alone. You got to realize that a lot of people are not going to love you. Oh, you know what? I was on the wrong message board. Shalom, shalom, loud and clear, perfect. Shalom, everybody. I pray everything well. Shalom, Cordero, what's good, bro? Oh, what's up, sister? Maisha? Yeah, I had to get a had to get a a little technical real quick before I move forward. All right, but since we got that out the way, but again, don't allow people to be fake towards you. Let them be them. Let them be real. And if they show you that they hate you, it's true. They they saying that they hate you. And don't don't be mad at them because they hate you. It's stupid to be mad at people because they hate you. It makes no sense. When people show me they hate me and I done nothing to them, obviously they're crazy. Who want to be around crazy people? So, yeah, man, don't just my advice to brothers and sisters, man, don't stress nothing. Don't allow yourself to be stressed out by other people and what they think you should do. I had a brother say, uh, why are you posting on your page? That was just the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. Why am I posting on my page? Why am I typing on my page? It was that retarded. I just, I just don't, I don't understand how you can get mad at me posting something on my page. So, out there, man, I'm being more and more vocal because I think who I really am and who I really am is a nobody off in the cut doing my own thing. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah. All right. So here's another post on Facebook. I did yesterday. Now, this one ain't get too much flack. 
all praises. And it was very surprising. But I'm going to read it to you all. It basically was a, a Hebrew um, love connection type thing. It, I definitely had fun with this. And uh, but it it, it kind of turned out really well, in my opinion, because a lot of people were on there, and they were you know get you know letting letting some steam off their chest about how to they can't find another Hebrew brother or a Hebrew sister, or they looking and uh, put the pieces together. But anyways, just say Hebrews and Hebrews. It's getting too cold to be alone. Uh, matchmaking season is here. Drop your status and let's find you a partner. Call me Dr. Boyd, the love connoisseur. So I was just joking, but it ended up being pretty, pretty decent and funny, man. Hilarious. A lot of people had to call security on and get them up off the post. But we all was joking and playing. And that's what I'm on. I'm all about having fun, man. There's no reason to stress. It's too much stress already. We are already. Like this, uh, I said this other day. I'm like, it should never be a point where you go outside and you literally is fear for, fearing for your life. Like, you know, we look at the whole cop situation, and every time a cop get behind me, I'm just like, I just hope he don't kill me. Now, how? Now that should never be. Uh. uh um a suggestion like you know it should never even be that deep where you have to pray that he don't kill you and that's what i'm saying we already got too much on our plate and look at me young dreaded dude i'm a prime suspect off top beard i ain't no small dude so off top i'm a suspect whether i did anything or not let anybody say he was driving this type of car, the same car I am driving, and he got and he got dressed. Not even the same type of model. Maybe it was the same color. I'm going to jail. Off top. So that's the type of stuff you know we we dealing with. And I'm not about to add no extra stress to my. I'm trying to take away stress. So uh, yeah, but honestly, I think that uh, brothers and sisters should. Put themselves out there to be uh to you know you know to I don't want to say the wrong word but to be more and putting a lot of your I don't want to say the wrong stuff but if you're looking for somebody just put it out there you know you're single such and such. You look for a Hebrew who can who can deal with this or deal with that. You know, a, a brother said he thought he was gonna do a website on it. I think it's a good idea. You know, people put their situation. If you got kids already, you know, a lot of brothers, no matter the truth or not, don't want to deal with no other man's kids. That's just the reality of things. And no, there's no reason to be faking. Yes. That, oh, sister that had no kids, don't don't deal with sisters who got kids, and then you just doing what you want to do for the time being, but you have no intention of sticking around. And I think a lot of people is forgetting that people are people. People are people. People are always gonna be people, and they not they never gonna be something that they never was. They always gonna they may try to do things differently, but internally they're gonna always be that person. That's where that daily strike, the uh, daily uh fight come from. Uh I think it was Paul who said uh he uh crucified uh he killed his flesh daily, and that's why because you don't you that person that's in you is not dead. He for, he's the one that you are more righteous, you are evil and wicked, and you trying to be. That daily fight. Once you stop fighting yourself, you, you lost already. If you ain't consistently saying, I got to make sure I don't, I'm not doing the things that I was doing. I'm not doing that. So, like I say, man, just random things and, and just get into discussions. Uh, uh, yeah, man, it's a lot of people that 
that's rooting for you. They're rooting for you. And there's a lot of people not only could have care less, they really want to see you see you fail. And not for the sake of, like I say, it's, it's something that they can gain or lose. It's just the simple fact if you're not, if they are not you and you are doing something that they feel they can do or if they feel they can do or they feel like you should do it this way, they don't care for for you that much. A lot of brothers, man, I've seen, you know, powerful brothers, brothers who have voices. Is It became a, a big burden for them, man, dealing with certain people. And, uh, I mean, nothing you too much to say, man. You just got to pray for them because you got to be strong in this thing. I mean, I've been in this thing six years. I done heard some wild stuff. I mean, just you would think they, they didn't even know the most. High. But that's the thing, man. If you believe that people are going to operate a certain way off of the default, you're gonna get your you're gonna be heartbroken. You're gonna be you're gonna be a stumbling block for you. And well, easy. Because this is my thing. When we read the scripture, was it talking to the majority of the people, the majority of the scriptures, who was they talking to? Is they talking to the people that don't know what to do or the people that already knew what to do? Were these people all Christians in the, in the scripture and they were trying to convert them to come back to Israel or were they Israelites saying, I don't care. I don't care about nothing y'all talking about. A lot of people who was doing wicked, they knew they was Israel. They was keeping the holy days. They was keeping, they was uh, doing the sacrifices, but they didn't care. So if you're thinking now that all of a sudden, in our worst condition, people going to care more, you setting yourself up. you setting yourself up for failure, and you won't be in the truth long. Because you assuming, you assuming that murderers won't murder you assuming that uh snakes won't bite you assuming that rabbits won't jump no more it makes no sense to me whoever you was before the truth you still that person i'm still that person i'm trying daily to fight not to be that person but you're gonna be that person forever now your fight is up to you that's why you know a lot of brothers don't and sisters don't want to be alone because they can't fight. They think that somebody being around them gonna help they fight, not knowing that that person got his own fight to deal with. So now you gathering, we gather every Shabbat, we gather. But the scriptures say, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, because you not nobody is not gonna save you. The music I do, people tell me it helps them. It helps me, but every day. I have to make sure I'm not this dude who used to do this, enjoy doing this, still want to do that. So I got to make sure I'm in that fight daily. Y'all ain't fighting. Y'all ain't fighting. When the holy days come up, everybody feel good. It's a blessing. But once the holy days end, y'all feel like y'all don't y'all don't have to fight them. There's nothing. Where is the sorrow at? Scripture tell us that it's better to cry than laugh. Where's the sorrow at? I ain't saying you got to be sad all day. I'm saying where is the internal bleeding at? How can you walk around here and think that you, that for some reason you just not going to be in a fight no more? And if you get into the truth and it's too easy, you probably done lost already. It should not be that easy. If nobody never pissed you off in the truth, then you on the wrong side of this. If nobody never done unto you and it wasn't uh and it, and it wasn't warranted, no, nope, you not you on the wrong side. All right, John, I'm gonna go ahead and crack my thing over, man. I don't know if y'all got some. I'm gonna get me a glass real quick. It's called wine and john for a reason. All right. Go ahead, get your get your get your bottles, man. I'm gonna try to uh 
be more funny and entertaining. But I don't know. Yeah, I honestly, man, I really don't think y'all y'all want to be in the truth. I don't think y'all understand being in the truth. I think people just it just want to be a part of something. Now you got enough understanding to know Christianity is not strong enough to make you a better person. Now you got that understanding, but so you 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 deal with the Hebrews, but you don't want to be a Hebrew because you you just find a place to play church again because you lost your place to play church because now you have understanding and you cannot you cannot just erase the things that you learned. So I think y'all just like playing church. There's nothing wrong with it. Just tell me you like playing church. I only drink red wine. I only drink red wine. Hand dog on every now and then. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, man. You know, I'm checking the box. I'm checking the um the ch the live chat. Just checking out what everybody's saying. Yeah, I, I think that we 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 on a we on a path to destruction in this truth and it's our own fault we want to be accepted so much that we willing to let people do whatever and say whatever and treat you any type of way uh hold on real quick just wanna just wanna share this to facebook I'm being real controversial. But yeah, man, I think um overall people don't uh people don't really want to serve the father or they can't, they don't know how. And honestly, I had to figure that out how to do it myself. It was kind of tough for me trying to figure out how can I serve the most high while I was doing the music. I'm like, how can I better be a better person while I was doing the music? And I understood it was people around me that wasn't allowing me to be a better person. I'm like, if I'm showing you that this is this is my progression and this is how I have to operate to progress myself. You can't stand in front of that progression and say, go this way. Ah, I'm going to keep going this way because this way is showing me progression. I was going left and right already. And that's just an analogy, man, for a lot of our cases. People are telling us what to do and how to and how to um, serve them all time. It's simple. It's say law, statutes, and commandments. But again, the people are people in the Bible. Our brothers and sisters knew the law, statutes, and commandments and still fell off. They was keeping the holy days. They was doing all this stuff. And still the most I said, I can't stand you Negroes. Because they were doing the stuff uh, for face value, but internally, they were still that evil person. And this is how we should look at ourselves in this truth. Well, this is how I look at like, period. I'm 29. I'll be 30 in February for i say up to about 22 years old 23 i was doing wicked stuff according to the mosai evil and wicked stuff so for 23 years i was doing something that was detrimental and destructive and i embodied it so that's who i became so now for six years how can all that be gone how can all that evil and wickedness and 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 confusion be gone in six years it's impossible 
it's impossible. So I think um, we have to understand that 90% of our being want to be evil and we want to, we don't, we not only want to destroy ourselves, we want to destroy other people. So if you, if you, if you go into it, if you go into um, any situation thinking, okay, I got to make sure I'm not being evil towards nobody. The whole world, the whole, your whole, anybody around you going to feel at peace or at ease just by being around you. Cause you, your intentions is I'm going to make sure I'm not doing evil. And I think everybody is not on that. They just making sure that um they are on face value see, showing that they are righteous. You can't be, I don't care how many fringes you got. The, man, listen again, the brothers in the scripture, they wore the fringes and they was raping people. I don't get it. So wearing the fringes don't save your soul. Your heart got to be circumcised. But y'all don't care. Sip, sip. Man, y'all sipping. I ain't playing. So like I say, man, I'm chilling. Uh, I'm going to be more open, possibly. Only because I think people assuming too much about me. And honestly, let me tell you something. I don't even care. I really don't care. But it's... I feel like I have to do it. Cause I really can just sit back, do my music, praise the Father, and pray He have mercy on me, and let you assume anything you want to assume. But let me give you uh, this um this testimony. Uh, I had put out a song right a few years ago, and uh, I knew a sister who knew a brother, and she contacted me and said that this brother just was. He said he wanted to talk to me, basically. So I talked to him, and uh. He was basically saying, like, how evil and wicked he thought I was for putting out this song. And how he couldn't believe that I would backslide basically so tough. And I could hear it in the voice, man. The brother was super passionate and super sorrowful about why he thought like that. He said another brother had to tell him that how he was feeling was evil and wicked because he bet he had me pegged as satan he had me pegged as an evildoer so the brother man he confessed on the phone like i say man i, I almost wanted to cry because the brother said he was blinded he was just subdued by this evil man inside of him that wanted to do me evil for no reason and the song was um i don't even want to tell you all the song but it was it was strong enough for him to allow himself to hate me over a song that ended up being one of my biggest songs and it and and by him acknowledging that and understanding that his heart was working against him against his brother who he never spoke to never knew now what if i just said what if i told that says i ain't talking to that dude I don't care nothing he's talking about. Now he still would have been remorseful, but I wouldn't have got a chance to have that testimony to always ride with me, man. That brother, uh, we was doing classes, uh, not classes, but um little Bible studies afterwards, man. I love that brother, man, because that was some deep stuff. That was beyond all this F boy stuff, uh uh, beyond all that street stuff, man. It was beyond all that. It was just something I never experienced from a dude who I know he cut different from everybody. He's not no corny dude. So for him to come to me and say, man, I was blinded. He was blinded by the other people around him. But another brother had to come tell him, no, nah, bro, listen to what he's saying. So a lot of y'all, a lot of people, if they don't like you internally, anything you do is going to be looked at as evil, even if you say nothing at all. Any action that seems like you're doing anything to somebody else, you're going to be looked at as evil. And they're going to hate you. Hate you to death for it. And I'm saying this. Who you is. You being who you're supposed to be. You a hateful person. Now, my advice is 
Don't allow that to happen to the next person. Allow yourself to see yourself as a hateful, evil person, a perverted person, a killer, a, a, a backbiter. See yourself as that and say, I got to fight that every day. But if you don't see that, and then the, what is your fight then? What is, why does scripture tell us to fight? What are we fighting against if you don't even realize that you're supposed to be fighting yourself daily? I think a lot of y'all don't want to fight. A lot of y'all can't fight because y'all don't know how to fight. At hands. But let's let's put you in a corner for an hour. You'll kill yourself. Put you in a corner by yourself for an hour. You will commit suicide because now you can't even control your own self. And a lot of y'all don't want to control yourself. And I think that's the that's the scary part of this thing that people don't want to control themselves. Be evil. Be evil towards yourself. I'd rather you be evil towards yourself than anybody else. Off a bridge. Don't push nobody else off a bridge. But yeah, man, that's my that's how I operate in this truth. I operate, I am a filthy person, and I want to destroy. I want to hate. I want to be jealous. The scripture is saying, James, man, our spirit lusts, uh, lusts to be envious. What is that? What is lust? That means your spirit wants to be jealous and envious. So you have to realize that that is your person. That's who you is. You want to be wicked. It's actually, it was fun being wicked. So you you trying to fight this guy that's in you, that's who you is. That likes to do wicked stuff, but you never in a battle. And you know what's gonna happen? That guy is he won. For everybody around you, gonna hate you. Cause they can see that dude. No matter how many friends you put on, and on how many hair wraps you put on, sister, you still that sister you was before the truth. Is y'all sipping? I'm telling, I don't see nobody sipping. Let me check this uh this chat real quick. Darrow. I'm just checking the chat, seeing what everybody talking about. You say uh Jacob Jacob Jenkins said uh check the wine and make sure it's vegan some of you swine bones in the filter the filtering process yeah man and that's another thing too uh that's why i think it's uh important that we pray over everything and be safe as possible because uh you know a lot of people <laughs> they hate to even hear that want to uh apply stuff to us man and 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 make sure we progressing the best way possible because you know a lot of unknown sins can be forgiven but once you know it's like oh man i know now i gotta deal with it but yeah uh like i say um we, I, we used to drink this one wine and they were saying that they did um use uh pig from my understanding this don't i i didn't see nothing about it the shutter homes is that what they're saying shutter homes my fault the side of homes, I'm not sure. But if you can put that in there, man, let me know. Some spring water. Oh, oh no. Let me get some orange juice. Oh no. This is wine and John with John. But uh yeah, man, if y'all got any questions too. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up in a minute. But I'm going to try to do this more often. And like I say, I do got some more music coming soon, man. I got some surprises, too. I've been working hard trying to keep this thing up, you know, going through your trials and tribulation. You know, we as righteous people think that the most High not supposed to rain on your head. The scriptures say in Matthew, when it, it rains on the just and unjust alike, just when it rains, you're going to get wet. Everybody's going to get wet. So... When things happen, don't think that the most high gave up on you. 
just know stuff's supposed to happen. How the most high is gonna be if he if he has to be with you, then that means something supposed to happen to you. So the thing is, if we need the most high to be with us, that means things are naturally gonna happen to us. So we gotta expect that. See, we this this is the whole thing about people. We what's wrong with us? We come from the ghetto, sleeping on cold project floors, and then we get into this truth and think nothing is supposed to happen to us. And then when something happened to you, you go into this inverse state or you go into denying the most high. And then you're looking for, oh, I got to know the most high deeper than this. That's why I'm getting whooped. No, you're getting whooped because that's the, the defaultness of life. Everybody gets their head whooped. It's about now when you get your head whooped, do we bring you out of it? You supposed to get a whooping, whether you think you deserve it or not. We have we we I think man, I, I, that's, this this is just how I operate. I operate y'all operating from this side of the spectrum back towards this way. I'm starting from this way towards this way, and in this way it seems better because now I'm counting myself, and I got to work to be worthy. Y'all counting yourself as worthy already. And when you count yourself already made it, where can you go? You can't go forward now because you're done. You made it already. You in the kingdom. This is how your spirit is operating. You in the kingdom already. So I'm standing right here. You can only do, only, you only can go backwards now. But if I start from here being pathetic and sickening and, and, and prideful, only I can progress now. Y'all cutting off y'all progression. Cause y'all y'all saying that y'all already done and if you count other people dead i think that's the worst thing imaginable to count other people dead if you count me dead i think that's 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 unbelievable because you don't know who i pray for you don't know i could be praying for you and you saying i hope that brother completely fall into a ditch somewhere but i'm praying earnestly for you now just think about that. Now think about, let's just try to sit in the most high seat. Impossible, I don't know, just bear with me. So, you know what, let's not even try to sit in the most high seat. Let's just be parents. You got two kids. One of your kids, you see trying their hardest to be the other kid's friend. Doing extra stuff when, when you know, you tell them to go clean the room, they up there before the, first, the kids you told to go clean, they up there helping them. But on the flip side, you see this kid doing the most evil things to this kid, but not in front of him, so he can see it. So when he went, while the other kid is help cleaning up the other kid's room, that kid sneak out the room and go mess up the other kid's room. That's what y'all. That's what that is exactly what y'all are doing in a lot of cases. So y'all counting people dead, not knowing that they actually praying for you. So now, as a parent, and I'm seeing this, what would I do? What would I do to the kid that's thinking he he's already good? To what would I do to that kid? Just just you will whoop that kid. <laughs> you will whoop that kid, and you will kind of feel like unforgivingness towards that kid because you're like, why would you do this to your brother who love you so much? And that's what y'all doing. Y'all y'all killing brothers and sisters. Well, y'all trying to with your words and your accusations. And they praying earnestly for you. Y'all murderers. Y'all got it in your heart already. Y'all gonna y'all gonna kill somebody when you are the dead man. How are you gonna do that? You on death row, and you saying this free man who can walk around outside that he's gonna die. That makes no sense. When you on death row, you about to get injected noontime. And you saying this man who free. Who going to Starbucks is about to die because he ain't did what you did. You on death row. That's how y'all think, man. And it's we got to be honest with each other. It's called being retarded. Stupidity. You can't hate your brother that much where you want him to die. And some people say nobody want nobody to die. What are you praying for then? Is you praying for life? 
life like? Is you praying for him to be well, to be healthy, or are you praying for? I hope he stopped doing this because he ain't doing this with us. Stuff like just that simple is 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 putting death on people. This work is the only thing we got that we can bring to the most high and say, at our best. He said our righteousness is like filthy rags. So if our work is the only thing we could bring to the most high to try to get forgiveness, you praying against that man's work. And he praying that you have increased work and have more plentiful works, then you you wishing death upon him. Because that's the only thing we got that we can give to the most high and say we trying. Because it all goes down to mercy anyway. You can keep the commandments all you want to. But at the most I say he don't like you, you're a dead man. Uh, with the Romans, it say he had mercy on whom he shall have mercy on. So keeping the commandments in our works and our faith allow us to bring something to him. And you spitting on the thing that we trying to bring to the most high. And, and you think the father ain't looking like, like, I'm about to kill you. You about to die. And you can say is uh whatever you want to say. But I know what goes on over here. I know who the most high made me. Because I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't do it in the world. I wanted to be a rapper in the world. Impossible. Couldn't do it. But when I came over here and earnestly wanted to serve the father and earnestly prayed for brothers, look at me. Look what he did for me. It's people that hate me because they feel they can do the exact same thing as me. Then do it. <laughs> I never put out a diss track on nobody. And 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 this is how I like to conversate. I don't like to conversate uh, where I'm clearly. Uh, I just like to put me on a trial because I don't know nothing about nobody. You can be doing whatever in your house right now. You can have somebody in your basement right now tied up talking about you a Hebrew and you got some East Indian woman tied up in your basement. I don't know. All I can do is talk about me and how and my experiences. I can't, I ain't wasting no time talking about you personally. I can talk about some of your foolish actions, but yeah, man, I'm sweating, man. Sipping on this drink. I said I was gonna stop at seven. It's seven going on seven twenty. But yeah, man, I just I just pray brothers and sisters can uh really examine yourself. Look at yourself. And I know you ain't gonna do it. That's my new slogan. I know you ain't gonna do it. I know for a fact you ain't. You probably was sitting here the whole time watching me and still had a frown on your face. And I'm telling you, all I'm saying is, bro, I pray for you every day. Won't you uh, look at yourself a little bit? You sitting like this, nigga, because I know you ain't going to do it. <laughs> ain't no reason to. You don't feel there's no reason to. So... Other than that, man, I want to show y'all this book again. Make sure, make sure y'all go get this by Thomas S. Ellis and Peter A. Dykeman. It's called Edible Wild Plants. And it may come in handy, man, when you never know. The most I say this place is going to go. I'm just adding on things, you know, just in case this place go. But we still got to have enough faith to not to do nothing stupid and hasty. Let me give you all an example. If the house was on fire in one room, just one room was on fire, and your kid was in, okay, let me, let me get, make, it, make it more detailed. Your house was on fire. The, the bedroom was on fire. Your kid is in the living room. You exit, would you leave this burning house that's not? burning in the part where your kid is at to go back and save them or would you leave out and leave them and just wait till the fire increase and burn the whole house up or would you say i'm gonna stay right here and see if i can bring this person out with me 
I think a lot of y'all, I think the I think the damn uh bathroom garbage can, the little bathroom garbage can was on fire and y'all left the whole damn house. And y'all probably could have spit on that and got that put out. But y'all left the whole entire house because of a bathroom trash can with a little bit of uh booger napkins was on fire and y'all just ran out the house left your kids left your mama and they in the living room like why is he running out the house what where your works at then what are you gonna do you so you ran out the house to go to the park aka the wilderness you sitting in the wilderness nobody in the wilderness who did you save who did you attempt to save who where is your work at you dipped on the house and I that trash can it's still burning. It's still burning. And the house is perfectly fine. Everybody's just chilling in the house still. And you at the park by yourself. Talking about, y'all better get out of there. It's gonna burn. The house is not even on fire yet. I ain't saying wait till the whole house is engulfed or even half the house is engulfed. I'm saying don't leave the people that need you. Why would you leave the people that need you first? Some of us are supposed to die for this faith. And, and it's obvious that a lot of y'all may be fearing. I fear it. That's stupid to not think that we are fearing. And I bring him in a brother, man. My brother Dan, we talk about this. And it made a lot of sense. It's real simple. Everybody said they'd die for the most high, but they won't even leave their job for the most high. They won't if the most if they telling y'all to come on Saturday, y'all won't leave your job, quit that job and say, I'm I'm rocking on the faith that the most high gonna give me another gig and I'm rolling with it. A lot of us is not cut like that. A lot of us won't leave a job. So how can you die? I mean, gun in your face right now. And they asking you. Are you gonna die right now for the most high? I'm gonna pull this tree, I'm gonna blow your face off. You know what you're going to say? No, I ain't going to die for this. I ain't want to leave my job for this. So be careful who you think you is. A lot of y'all think y'all somebody. Y'all not nobody. It's going to, you go, and you know you're not nobody. So you got to convince people that you is somebody. And all that makes you look like it's a bigger nobody because we all can see you ain't nobody. When you going, when you comp, uh, what's the word? Overcompensating for something, it's it's obvious. Buddy, is y'all still drinking? Shalom, family. Just going on this rant, talking my stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, man. Uh, you know, I really appreciate y'all for listening. Maybe next time it'll be a lot more funny. But sometimes, man, y'all aggravating. I ain't gonna lie. Get on my nerves. And uh, I got one job. That's the sir the most high. What you know, doing the music. That's how I, that's how I put forth my works. So I got one job. And y'all don't want me to do the one job? I'm not even taking over your class. I'm not trying to be your elder. I can't do my one job? That's all I got to bring to the father? I can't do my one job? <laughs> I mean, really. I can't do my one job? Jeez. And y'all doing that to a lot of brothers, man. Y'all making it hard for us to do the one thing that he having us do to, to help brothers stay in the truth or bring brothers in the truth. And y'all want to murder that man. I've seen it. I done seen it. First hand, too. I have the luxury to be around a lot of people and hear a lot of stuff. You think I don't know, but I know. Let me look at the camera. I know what you're doing. And it's okay. Because now I know 
who I should avoid. But I pray this was edifying. And uh, I think it's good for brothers, man, to, to vent to one another without saying no names, without putting our bad papers on people. Because what I'm not going to do is lie on you. I'm not going to lie. I may misunderstand some things. Your intentions, well, I'm not going to deliberately just lie on you. So, all in all, man, I pray that Israel stay strong and uh, make sure you're killing that dude that's that's living inside you daily. He need to die. He need to die every day. He 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 really he he's almost indestructible. He's almost like the hawk. So you got to fight him every day. Every day. And not just once a day, maybe twice a day. Dead. He don't he mad as hell that you even exist now. The, the person that you want to be, he mad that that is even a thought now. And you know what the sad thing is? It's all in your head. Everything going on is in you. You are the person that is killing you. And you're trying to kill other people. But honestly, we got to be honest with ourselves. Would I, would, I, would I rather a murderer run up on me and shoot me in the head or just jump off a cliff? I'd rather you jump off a cliff. Go jump off a cliff if you want people to die. Get out of our way. We ain't, if you go ahead and jump off that cliff, you ain't got to be bothered with us no more. Stop messing with these brothers, man. They not doing nothing to y'all. Y'all want to be right so bad. Y'all going to end up killing yourself. All right, y'all. I'm out. This went way over. Okay, I'm done. All right, man. Peace and blessings to everybody. Make sure you pray for people and ask them to pray for you and see how they react. Yeah, indeed, Cordero. Indeed, man, we got to have faith in the most high over all. The righteous shall never be forsaken. So if you're scared, you're scared for a reason. You're scared, you're running from you. And when you run from you, where are you going? You taking you with you. You can't run from you. You have to fight you. Man, with that, man, grace and peace, man, blessings, man, to everybody. And don't let nobody, don't let nobody stop you from doing what you're supposed to do. All right, because that's the only thing you can bring forth to the most high, even if it seems impossible to to keep going. You got to separate yourself from them. Uh, what the scripture say? Anybody got it? It say um, basically when they count themselves as uh count them as uh evil doers or wicked and move on, get get away from them. I forget the verse, man. I forget the verse. But uh, yeah, man, you see these people wicked. Mark them as mark them as wicked and get away from them because now it's on you. Now you the fool when you go back and deal with them and they kill you spiritually. When they kill you, that's on you now. Because you knew they was gonna you knew they were trying to kill you, and then you went back and then they killed you. So you can't say, Oh, I hate these people now. No, you should hate yourself because you because you went back. All right, peace, shalom. Love y'all. Love y'all, real love. Like, if you hungry, I'll definitely feed you. My worst enemy. He'll get some bread out of me. Peace. Shalom.